Jaime Jaquez was slept on when he came into the league. Nobody cared about him at all. But now, the young rookie is making some noise. He's actually so good, he's in the Rookie of the Year conversation. In this video, let's find out why Jaime Jaquez's journey has been truly unique and break down how he's managed to exceed all expectations. Make sure to stay to the end to see what Jaime needs to do to win the Rookie of the Year award. Don't forget to like and subscribe too. Appreciate you guys. Drafted 18th overall by the Miami Heat, Jaquez was just a late first round pick by a team that already had veteran presence and solid young talent. Nobody knew his name outside of die-hard college hoops fans. Yeah, at UCLA, he was a standout performer, bringing intensity and consistency to the court. After his junior year, Jaime was about to declare for the NBA draft, but a high ankle sprain during the NCAA tournament put his draft stock in question. Scouts doubted if he could ever recover and if his game would even translate to the pro level. It was a risky pick for the Heat, yet they saw something that others didn't. More on that later. After his senior season with the Bruins, Jaime really fleshed out his game, showcasing his ability to be a two-way player. He honed his defensive skills and proved he could contribute on both ends of the floor. During his last year in college, he averaged 17.8 points and 8.2 rebounds. Yet, even with those improvements, his draft prospects were still uncertain. He was able to declare for the draft or go in the extra year of eligibility he had due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Somehow, the pre-draft buzz was not about Jaquez. He was considered a borderline first round pick, but was eventually invited to the green room. 18th pick overall? Not bad. But most people watching the draft were like, who the heck is this guy? When the Heat announced his name, there were for sure some confused faces. But Pat Riley and the scouting department had something up their sleeve. When Hakez joined the Heat for the 2023 Summer League, he played just two games before being sidelined with a shoulder injury. Just imagine, you finally get the chance to prove yourself on the professional level, and bang, you're out the lineup. The shoulder injury wasn't serious though, and Jaquez was back on the court for training camp. He was all set to begin the season strong, but another injury happened. This time, a growing strain during a preseason game. Put those plans on hold, it seemed like his rookie year was about to be a string of bad luck. But wait till you hear what happened next. Jaquez started the season on a minutes restriction due to the growing strain, but he quickly demonstrated he did not need much time to make a good impact. The absence of veterans like Jimmy Butler, Kevin Love, opened up opportunities for him to showcase his game, and he seized every single one. Moreover, he started. For a rookie to be in the starting lineup so early on is pretty impressive, would you agree? Jaime was hitting game-clinching threes, scoring a career high, 20 points at the time, and was locking down premier talent in the league. He showed poise beyond his years and an uncanny ability to rise to the occasion. With each game, his confidence grew, and the league took notice. On December 4, 2023, Jaime Jaquez was named Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month. But check this out, he didn't stop there. In December, Jaquez put up a new career high 31 points and added 10 boards as the Heat edged the Eastern Conference powerhouse, the Philadelphia 76ers. And yep, the league couldn't help but take notice again. On January 4th, Hawkins earned his second consecutive Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month award for his games played in December. So the league has recognized Hawkins' exceptional play and so have his teammates and coaches. But what about the fans? Nobody really knew Hawkins would be this good, but now the stands are filled with his jerseys. Social media is buzzing with his highlights and he's quickly becoming a household name. It's not about just the points he racks up, it's the hustle plays, the gritty defense, the clutch moments that make Hawkins stand out. His sneaky athleticism might catch you off guard. He'll chase down a block on one end, then switch effortlessly to drive for a layup on the next. The Miami crowd goes wild for his highlight-worthy plays. This is what transforms a rookie into an icon in the making. As a small forward, standing 6'6", weighing 225 pounds, Hawkins is the ideal size for his position. He definitely uses his body to his advantage, muscling through defenders, grabbing rebounds over taller players. His ability to guard multiple positions and his basketball IQ helps him anticipate plays before they unfold. 
a trade that not only benefits him, but also elevates the team's overall defense. Hawkins credits his four years at UCLA, which a lot of players aren't even staying in college for four years, that really hold his defense and his discipline. He said it himself, it helped, just learning how to win, learning how to play the right way. He said, something I learned from Coach Cronin is the little games within the game and knowing what it takes to win and when to make the right play at the right time, things like that. That stuff actually translates when you're coming into an organization that's looking to win right away. And the Miami Heat are looking to win right away. They traditionally do not undertake full rebuilds, but retool around their core with high potential players like Hakez. With their excellent development program, Miami serves as the perfect place for a player of his caliber to grow, develop, and shine. He coach Eric Spolstra has praised Hawkeyes' work ethic and commitment, emphasizing that he's not just the type of player that waits for his time to shine, but is actively waiting and seeking those moments and ready to pounce on it. Spolstra explained why Hawkeyes is actually different from most NBA rookies and even some of his more seasoned peers. He said he's just had a unique path. There were stages to his UCLA career over four years. In this current NBA society, nobody really wants that. Right now, if you're not a number one option as a freshman and you're a five-star recruit, you're either transferring or declaring. You're not really developing any type of grit or learning a role or embracing a role the way Jaime did. He had a different kind of path. Man, people just didn't see that. But Hakes came into the league ready. His maturity is precisely what allows him to adapt so quickly. The intensity, the physicality, the speed of the game, nothing seemed to phase him. Moreover, his versatility has become a cornerstone of the Heat's game plan already. Being able to deploy Hakez as a wing defender or an offensive spark plug gives Coach Bolstra more flexibility in rotations. With the regular season in full swing, Jaime Hakez continues to flourish and build on his impressive start. His performances are elevating the Heat's chances and making a clear statement that this is not some fleeting success, but he's here to be a lasting force in the league. The fans are engaged, his team is empowered, and he's just scratching the surface of his potential. As the season progresses, keep an eye out on this standout rookie. With his determination and skill set, sky's the limit for Jaime Jaquez and the Miami Heat. The journey from college to NBA stardom is never easy, but Jaquez's path demonstrates with the right attitude and work ethic, unexpected stars can and do emerge. Now the question remains, is Jaime Jaquez in the Rookie of the Year conversation? He's certainly one of the best rookies out this season, but can he aim for the ultimate award? What do you think? What probably needs to happen in order for Hawkes to secure Rookie of the Year title is consistent performances at the current level or even stepping up his game as the season advances. He'll need to maintain his scoring efficiency, continue to be a defensive standout, and most importantly, help lead Miami to a successful season. If he can also up his game during the critical moments and even in the playoffs, assuming the Heat make it, that visibility and impact could seal the deal for the Rookie of the Year award. How cool would that be? From being under the radar to taking the spotlight? From being questioned to potentially winning the most prestigious award a rookie can get? Jaime Hakkis' trajectory are what NBA dreams are made of. He's surprising the league and shocking the skeptics. How far can he go? Only time can tell.